We've got 4G, so I figured we might as well go live. We are trimming Mont Belliard cows today, and this could go wrong. I'm gonna leave this one for quite some time. So, hello, join me. Talk amongst yourselves in the chat. Feel free, I don't mind. There's nobody there right now. I feel like I'm all alone. There is, oh no, I was gonna say there's one person. Good morning, yes, it's Chili here. Tell me if you can see okay. The signal's okay, it's not fantastic. And that cow just threw the grinder off the crush, but we're good. This is a bit different, isn't it?
Ah, hello, how are you? Ah, it's cold here today. We've trimmed about... What we, what we done? I've got a little counter on the side of my crush. We've trimmed 25 cows today. We've just put one block on. We're at a big fancy farm today, trimming about maybe... I don't know. I actually don't know. Somewhere between 70 and 80 cows, probably. Hi, Germany, Wisconsin. Germany again. Hope you're all well. I'm just going to leave this run for quite a while so you can just keep watching, okay? Yeah, you can really see better there. Craig is here today, obviously, and so is Graham. But Kevin's in hospital recovering from his back operation. Hi, Peg. Nice to meet you. Wait until you see Friday night's video. Wow. I'll tell Kevin hello, don't worry Laurie. I definitely will. Hi guys. Sorry, I haven't had time to stop. It's a very busy day. And Graham, I'm carrying him all the time, you can see that. <laughs> but this is a good thing. You just can see exactly how fast me and Graham actually work. Shut up, come on. There you go.
This is a big one. There's a lot of bruising on this foot because this was so big. Clearly, she's not lame and there's not a major issue. But getting rid of all of this overgrowth and this extra height will mean that she stays comfortable. Lovely. Hi from France. Viva Los France. It's all fire here, it really is. Quickly go, 876 of you. Hello, 876 of you. Have to go, bye bye, bye bye. Where are you this morning? We are just outside Newton Stewart at a farm that has about 700 cows, I think. Maybe 800 cows milking, but a thousand altogether. Because Kevin's not here, Craig is getting all the cows in, which means I'm left on my own for a couple of minutes while he refills the race. This can be a problem because one person, that cow, is trying to get through when she shouldn't. Not a problem. People always ask why we don't clean the feet off. You've seen how quickly we're working. It's not super fast, we're just kind of mulling away. But cleaning every foot off would have its advantages, but obviously it would really hold us up and it would mean the cows were stressed out for longer than they should be. Are the Ayrshire cows? This is an Ayrshire cow actually, but about half are Ayrshire's, half are Montbelliard's. Just wait until you see the video on Friday night, folks. Wow. It's, yeah. We trimmed a cow yesterday that had a huge abscess. I didn't actually catch the beginning of it on film, but the rest, yeah, wow. Well, look, Craig's taking my job over. Anyway, I'll answer some of your questions. Is that Good morning from Calgary. Hello, no protective eye gear. Sometimes we wear it, sometimes we don't. Um, Sounds totally silly, I know, but if you watch Craig, none of those chips are hitting him in the face, they're all going to the left because the grinders throw them to the left. Morning from Glasgow. Uh, have we got snow? We've got a little tiny bit of snow. It will be coffee time soon. How many cows have we done, Craig? Who? How many cows have we done? 30. 30. Done 30 cows, so yeah, it's coffee time soon.
So why are you not all at work right now? Oh, you've got an excuse. Kelly, and I missed your, I missed your name. It's 2.45 in Colorado, so that's fair enough. Okay. Never work with animals. Come on. This is the problem sometimes. We don't want to go in. She's probably been in before. And she's hesitant. She will go though. She will go. It doesn't all go smoothly, does it? In and out, in and out, shake it all about. Remember, I said she's probably been in before recently, and that's why she's unsure of coming back in. Look. You can hopefully see that she's not long been trimmed, and that's why she didn't want to go back in. You guys like the audio thing idea, you really did. 543 likes and a thousand viewers. That's 29, we'll do one more. Your math doesn't add up. Probably not. 29, we'll do one more and uh, then we'll have a coffee. I'll put this cow in then. Do you want to make Craig's over here making coffee, look. Say hi, Craig. Hi. It's one of Craig's most important tasks of the whole day. See his little Milwaukee bag, it's sponsored. What time is it? It's um, 
It's 9.48 in the morning. How do you drink your coffee? Through my lips. Now I have a latte with one sugar. We're gonna stop town for a little second, just have this coffee. Um, all of your chats have gone. Where have they gone? Um, yeah. We're gonna stop for a little, little second. Well, are you guys kind of drives home that most cows are perfectly healthy? Yeah, most cows are perfectly healthy, that's right. I think we, I don't know, what did we just turn there? Maybe 10, 15? I don't know, something like that. None of them had anything wrong whatsoever, and that's normal. Like, perfectly normal. Eight cream and four sugar. Yeah, that's how I take my coffee, yeah. Normally we don't stop for coffee. Well, we do, kind of. Now this is a treat. A treat. Stop. Graham won't allow us to have a break. Look, he's got poop on his lap. Nice. I probably have too. I'll get there. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Not a problem. I did a whole video one time with poop on my forehead. Hey. So you guys love the audio idea. Mm. If you didn't catch the last video, we're, uh, we're going to do... Thanks for the... Yeah, truly live. Yes, John, that's correct. <laughs> um, so if you guys didn't see the last video, we're thinking about doing this audio app. A lot of people kind of got the wrong end of the stick. They thought maybe I meant a podcast. I don't mean a podcast. I mean, it, sound, it might sound weird, but just me talking about my past and stories of farming and stories of hoof trimming and stories when I was a child and all the good times before I met Craig, really, you know? Depends on your taste. Oh... We're actually at the farm that Kevin used to work at. He worked here, well, he worked here for four years to begin with, and then he stopped for a while, and then he started again. And yeah, look, here, here I'll show you. Hi, Grim. <laughs> it's funny that you call me Grime. My, my brothers and sisters used to call me Grim. Well, one brother especially. Graham Time Stories, yeah, that's right. It's gonna be called uh, Calm Cow. Does that make sense? Hi, Jemima. You all right? Morning list of noisy cows you see sometimes i'll tell you guys that's a cow in the background making a noise and i don't think you always believe me but it actually is so yeah big farm today this is one of the sheds if i turn you guys around you'll be able to see so all just chilling out nicely here i'll take you a walk up here Oh. So we got lots going on. I need to give this crush away, don't I? This Appleton steel. We need to, um, yeah, free stall. In Scotland, all of the cows are free stall. You're not allowed to tie them up. Uh, yeah, so that's the difference. Sorry, some people won't know the difference between tie stall and free stall. Tie stall is a thing where all the cows are tied into their beds and that's where they live. They just live in their little beds and they don't walk around. Here in Scotland, every cow is free stall. So in other words, they can meander as much as they like, which is quite cool, obviously. Uh, we're doing, I don't know, I'm guessing somewhere between 70 and 80, I think. Those girls are ours, look. Nice and healthy, shiny clean. Here's Miss, Mrs. HGP, is Mrs. HGP here? Haven't seen any comments, if you are, honey, I'm sorry for not saying hello. Look here, I'll climb up and you can see. I'll try, try not to fall. 
Although it would make good TV. TV? YouTube. You're one of my favorite YouTubes. Oh, thanks, Webtails. Whoa. Kind of, kind of dodgy. I'm, you can't tell, but I'm on top of about a six foot gate. Yeah, so look. Our crush is down there. These are some of our cows. These are some of our cows, and there's more to come. And then behind me, we got the parlor, obviously, where all the cows get milked. They get milked twice a day. I have to know, how do you spell your name? My name is spelt G-R-A-E-M-E. G-R-A-E-M-E. It's the Scottish spelling of Graham. Graham. Ugh. I get Graham me a lot in America. What happens if both claws are bad? Um, you need to be... You need to have ingenuity. That was the word I was looking for. You need to think outside of the box. Sometimes we'll use those horseshoe blocks, which means... It's just a block around the edge of the hoof, so it doesn't annoy um, anything bad. <laughs> Craigie boy for president. <laughs> Don't know about that. Your country might be in a bad state of affairs. <laughs> um, yeah, if you get a problem on both goals, you've just got to think outside the box, to be honest. Uh, good morning from Indiana. My boss's name is Graham. Boss sounds like a cool guy. Hi, in Brazil, Andre. You inspire us all. Thanks, Bob. That's, that's a really... I like that. That's cool. Um, yeah, people see us all cheery and stuff on, on screen, but our lives are just the same as yours. We have terrible things happening and good things happening, and you just have to have a positive outlook, don't you? Kind of see life on the bright side. Hi from a German... Was that a racing YouTuber? What was that? German racing YouTuber. Oh, man after my own heart. Hi, Gemma. It's going good. Oh, your hair is fantastic. I don't know about that. <laughs> Fantastic's probably not the word most people use. <laughs> Jen Craig. Yeah. yeah, it looks like Sideshow Bob from The Simpsons. People keep telling me to get it cut and... Can you hold that? I can't put it back on now. People keep telling me to get it cut. And to be honest, the more people that tell me to get it cut, the less likely I am to get it cut. <laughs> I don't really care what anybody else looks like. So I kind of think, well, I want everybody to know that I don't care what they think I look like. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Use reverse psychology, tell me to keep it growing. Maybe I'll cut it. No. Like Samson. I wouldn't really trim feet with normal feet. Normal feet, not with normal hair. Sideshow Bob, lady, Sunfire, do not encourage him. <laughs> Look, KVK sponsored mug. Oh my god, you look like you stuck your finger in a socket. I keep asking my kids if I should get it cut and they think it's funny, so yeah. Yeah. Uh, don't cut it, you'll regret it. Love the hair. Hello, hello, hello. What does Mrs. HGP think of the hair? <laughs> she, she, so not, when I'm out with Mrs. HGP, the hair is always like tidy. It's like really tidy. It's like, it's like tied back or, or whatever. And she just, she doesn't care. She thinks it's funny that people get so caught up about it. What is the best time to visit Scotland? Um, in the middle of the night when everybody's asleep, then you don't have to put up with the abuse. <laughs> no, springtime. Springtime or autumn time is probably the best. We don't really have a summer, so it's, it's just chill all, all year round. Anyway, these cows are waiting, so we're going to get back to doing some trimming. How are the kids? The kids are fantastic. Hello, Uncle Marnik. And um, the kids are at school today, obviously. Uh, said perfectly. Umbo. I don't know what that means. Oh, laughing my bum off, I get that. But there's poop on your face, that you said. Good morning, Graham, Craig, and speedy recovery, recovery to Craig again. Hi, Ahmad. You all right? How's it going? Jock, there's a good Scottish name. Right, okay, we're gonna get back at it because I hate cows waiting for too long. I'm trying. The first one won't want to go in because she's gonna want to follow, look. Magic, you see cows like they're habitual, not habitual, herding creatures, so they feel safe when there are other cows around. If you've just joined guys, we are just letting you run today. Hi Dennis Harvey, hope you're well. 
yeah, we're just letting you run today. This is us trimming as we normally do. Oh, I, oh this jobby thing's not working right. What's it called? Jo yeah. Looking good? Vogue? Nah. this foot so we need to reduce the hole of the heel to get all of the weight off it. Probably can't see from there but that is really dark and that's not good. Good morning. You should really bring up your online classes. I think it would do great over here in the US. So the online classes are available to anybody who would like them and you get a massive 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 free big starter kit box. All you need to do is go to learnthehoofgp.com. Uh, you really see the hooves coming flying. Hi in France, Johan. Uh, you're lagging. I know. I get that. I've told that quite regularly. Uh, how's Campbell? Campbell is fantastic. Do you know how, when the dew claws are too long? If they're over an inch. If they're over an inch, they need a little bit of trimming because you don't want them hanging down because then they get all mucky and attract dermatitis. Sometimes I've got to kick out that. problem there that's being stopped before it actually is a proper problem. All that noise you can hear in the background, by the way, is cows being um, loaded onto a big wagon for, trans for transfer. I read yours. If the camera caught that, did it? See that big kick?
guys, I am going to California in about two and a half weeks, maybe three weeks time, to Tulare, to the World Ag Show. So if you're in California, anywhere near Tulare, come see me, come see Bo. Come and see the KVK. Just concentrating because as soon as Graham drops that front foot, I drop the back feet, get the cow down out of the air as quickly as possible. Like that? Yeah, like that. pretty the feet are here. They really are stunning. This is what most farms that we trim at are like. They really are. Have you learned all the secrets to the KBK yet? Um, we're always learning. There aren't that many many um, secrets to be honest. The KBK is better because it's so quick. It's so comfortable for the cows. It, it really, really is. That's why we love it. Takes you about a month to get used to it, but once you're used to it, you love it. Did you see that cow? Night night, Joe. Did you see that cow there? I don't know if you picked it up. Sometimes they'll jump out and they slip all over the place. We hate it, it's not good.
Sorry it's difficult for me to catch all of your comments, by the way. See how easily they go into the crush, by the way, folks? There's no one behind them pushing or anything like that. They're just following on the one before, and that's partly why this is good, so good. Rangers or Celtic? No comment. Just got a Tyloma 3 in her back. Just got a dermatitis on it. Okay, so there is a problem with this one. You can see it here. See it in Tulare. Hey, Keith, how's it going? Look, this is a problem. This is going to be a big ulcer underneath there. Most likely. First problem of all of these so far, though. I'll get Craig to hold this. While I turn it. Hold this, maestro. Okay. <laughs> Caught me off guard there. <laughs> Back a little bit, Craig, please. Back in. Apologise for the poor connection. It's the signal out here at the farm. It's not so good. Stay toys, though. Got here from Pestry. Huh. Okay. Is he clear with? 
Yep. That's the cow behind getting impatient. Yep, it's just knocked my post out. Sorry for the poor Wi-Fi. Not my fault. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. So we are going to wrap this because this also has a little bit of digital jam effects on it. Good morning in Maryland. I know, poor Wi-Fi. Need the portal hot, hot spot. Hopefully it's getting better, folks. So here's that also I've just trimmed. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm putting you back up here, guys, because you seem to have a connection up here. I'm really sorry the Wi-Fi or uh, data connection isn't very good here. I'm just going to wrap that also in the background. It's going to clean it up with some iodine first. They have McDonald's Wi-Fi. <laughs> Must be better than here. When are you going to Tulare? Um, I will be there on the 15th. I'm going to give up in a second if the Wi-Fi doesn't start working again. Play ball, Vodafone. E. 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 It's too soon, yeah, I totally did, didn't I? Should, I think it's fixed. It worked here before. Graham broke our cupboard this morning, so until we get it home and get it fixed, we're going to use this bungee cord. Then what level you want down for this? Uh, three. You never bought You often find that this cow has a really bad ulcer on her back left foot, so she has a mirroring ulcer on her back right foot. So right now, GDM, God damn, it's really bad. And because Craig is fantastic, he hasn't realised the glue run out. Right? Who, who used the glue last? It's the 15th of February, that's when I'll be in Tulare at the World Ag Show. I'll be on the KVK stand because they asked me to be, well, to come along to speak to people. So why not? It's California, right? It's sunny. Don't forget the blinker fluid. We'll try not to. It needs a little top up. <sighs> so if you guys have just joined us, we're just trimming away here. We have somewhere between 60 and 80 cows <laughs> to trim. We have already trimmed about 40 now. We're getting through, and this is actually the very, very first cow today that's needed a block. So yeah, the cow's feet here are really, really good. After this one's gone, hopefully we'll get back to the good ones, um, as in the ones with nothing wrong.
Nice view of my back, is it? So this also is not as bad as the other one. It's a level two yep. out of a possible four. So we'll just spray this one with iodine. There's no dermatitis present or anything like that. So yeah. So the audio thing is going to be called Cam Cow. Does that make sense? Cam Cow. Morning, wish Kevin good luck for me. I will. His operation went fantastically well. Uh, they actually had to cut more away from his spine so that the discs in between his spine had to be removed more than originally thought. But all good. And you guys helped to Thank you. Scott from Prestry. Hey, Scott from Prestry. Breaking par. Reckon you can break par? <laughs> hey, Beaumont. How's it going? California, Valentine's Day. Hey, in Oregon. How's it going? Who GP needs a new newsletter called the Daily Moose? <laughs> the Daily Moose. <laughs> That's really clever. Do you know what time you'll be at the KBK booth? I'll be there from. I'll def. I'm not sure what time, but I'll definitely be there on the 16th of February between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. So I'll definitely be there. I might be there a bit, quite a bit more, but I'll definitely be there between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. on February the 16th. I think that's a Thursday. So that's in Tulare. Here in Illinois, Illinois. New South Wales. Long, long way. Yeah, we're good to go. It doesn't always go smoothly.
This is routine trimming. This is not having to do all that much to the feet. Just balancing them up and letting them rip. Nice, eh? Hello in Galway. <laughs> 